There are few things more shocking to a tool than slamming into a corner of material at a high rate of speed. This can be a common occurrence in dynamic toolpaths. It can be especially shocking if there is any extra stock, slag, or hard spots in these corners. Mastercam 2021 provides us with a new feature to help prolong the life of our tool when presented with these situations. In this scenario, the first side of the FUBC upright is complete, and we've repositioned it into the fixture to machine the second side. Our next operation will be to dynamic mill the large block of material that was used for vice clamping in the first setup while avoiding these clamping bolts. Let's build a 2D dynamic toolpath. Turn on level 2 to see some helpful wireframe. Select the rectangle as the machining region. Since this is an island of material, we want to machine from the outside. We can also select these circles as avoidance regions and set the center bore as an air region. This will keep us a safe distance from the bolts and will allow the tool to freely pass through the open air in the center of the pattern. A preview chain will help us to verify these selections. Click OK to set up some parameters. On the cut parameter page, set the wall stock to leave to zero and the floor stock to leave to 30 thousandths of an inch. Set the linking as shown and click OK to generate the toolpath. Before entering verify, check that the simulation settings show the correct stock and fixture. We can now open verify. As the tool begins to enter material, we see perfectly even engagement all around. This perfect engagement assumes that the real-world material is dimensionally identical to the model. Since this stock was only rough cut on a saw, it's highly unlikely to be dimensionally perfect. In fact, the corners may have burrs or other imperfections that are hazardous to the cutter. Let's return to the operation parameters. Mastercam has always allowed us to offset the first pass or use a slower feed rate in the first pass to minimize the chances of problems on the first laps around the part. Let's enter an offset of 300 thousandths here. Click OK, regenerate the toolpath, and open back plot. The offset pass does lessen the engagement in the corners, however it also creates unwanted air cuts along the straight edges. Let's restore the first pass offset to default. Activate the new corner pretreatment option. As we can see from the interface, we can focus on the corners with unique parameters before machining the whole of the part. This includes unique parameters for step over, step downs, climb versus conventional cuts, and so on. Set the pretreat parameters as shown here. Click OK and regenerate the toolpath. Let's run this new toolpath and verify. Note how the corners are first cut with their unique, safe parameters. Then the rest of the material is machined with traditional, aggressive, dynamic parameters. By safely pretreating the corners, we can be confident that the aggressive portion of the toolpath will be successful.